I ate no desirable food. Now, here's what's interesting. In verse 11, he says, O Daniel, man greatly beloved. The word greatly beloved is the exact same word that described desirable food. In other words, O Daniel, man found to be very desirable. I ate no desirable food. I became the man greatly desired. All right. There's a difference between God's love and God's favor. God's love is 100% full on towards you 24-7. A hundred million years from now, it won't be any more than it is now. And it's not more now or less now than when you were born. It is full on complete absolute perfect love towards you all the time. Favor is different. Favor is initially given as a gift, but its increase is dependent upon our stewardship. It almost sounds like you buy more favor. That's, that wouldn't be accurate, but you also don't get it without sacrifice. The increase of favor comes through the proper use of favor. So here we have this story where... Daniel, feeling the weightiness of the destiny of his nation, determines, I'm going to set aside all that I would normally be blessed with, thrive with in my own life. I'm going to set aside all that is desirable, and I'm going to seek the Lord. And so he takes three weeks where he fasts and he prays. And the Lord's response was, oh, Daniel, you who have been found to be greatly desirable. What is this? It's a picture of unusual increased favor. Using favor to deny oneself and not benefit from what you have earned is a huge part of demonstrating maturity. In our homes, it would look like this. At Christmas time, if you don't have enough to buy gifts for yourselves as adults, you make sure there's enough for your children. You, you go without to make sure they have. That's what you do when you grow up. Five-year-olds will demand their rights. <laughs> and sometimes our spiritual age is revealed by us demanding our rights. Yes, son, you have a right to eat. You go ahead and eat. But there are times where in the things of the Lord, there are critical moments where there's to be a partnership with heaven. And, and sometimes it just simply means vegetables only. I did a Daniel fast once. It, it, was, it was torture. It was torture. It was just easier to skip food altogether than to eat something that was a warm-up for meat. Now, excuse me while I digress, but on my plate, I eat one thing at a time. If I have steak, potatoes, broccoli, corn, I eat corn first, because it just, excuse me, I, eat, uh, I, was, I was thinking uh, carrots. I eat the carrots first because it doesn't fit with anything. Then I eat the broccoli. I eat it till it's all gone. Then I eat the potato because it's immersed in butter. And then I end with a grand finale of meat. That's, I, I don't mix it. I don't take one bite of this, one bite of that. I finish one thing at a time because there is a crescendo. There is a target. There is... There is the grand finale, the end of my meal. And to eat just vegetables is like there's no grand finale. I warmed up and I'm facing disappointment. 